What's up, cats? So I just spent some time in uh, rural Alabama in a small town, and I had heard about this small town in Florida, so I figured I would uh, detour on my road trip, check it out, mainly because of, um, it's the home of what used to be Florida's number one attraction in like the 1800s. It's so this right here. White Sulphur Springs. Once a popular health resort attracting large numbers of people to drink the water and bathe in the spring. The structure encircles a natural spring that was thought to possess great healing qualities. An early av advertisement claimed the water cured everything from I don't even know what that is, indigestion, dandruff, insomnia. Constructed in 1908. <clears throat> now I know there's not much left of uh, the joint. It looks like the this is kind of new, this walkway. But uh, I figured I'd just like roll through this small town, <clears throat> check this out and drive around, see what it's all about. I just had some uh, dinner at a little restaurant, it seemed like the only restaurant on the strip. <clears throat> Two lovely ladies took care of me with very thick Southern accents, but I loved their accents. <laughs> they were so sweet. You know, it's just that Southern hospitality. So nice. You have a blessed day, you hear? You too. This is nice already. Nice little area. Oh, this is kind of raging. <clears throat> Definitely does not smell good. And it looks like Coke. We'll just be chilling down here. Shoot. We'll be fishing. The color is crazy. Bryant and Elizabeth Sheffield discover the spring in 1835. Damn, that's pretty crazy. This is what it used to look like. And there was a big hotel around it. Hmm. Neat. Very interesting. Very random. Used to be, at once was, Florida's top destination. Which is funny because now all the springs around Florida are very slept on, very underrated. But in my opinion so far, they're my favorite thing about Florida for sure. So I'm gonna walk around, drive around, see what this little town's all about. We got an old motel here. are non-existent. Let's see. Just look at that gorgeous house. What? Oh, I think this is the old like town hotel. I'll have to stop and look at this real quick. This whole street is fucking adorable. 
Where it is original tourist destination. The Telford Hotel, 1902. Restaurant bar and dinner theater. Damn. Locked off now. That's really interesting. It's a gorgeous building though. Got the stone with the brick. I'm assuming someone, something, they're doing something with the building whether somebody lives in there or, or what. I gotta check out this corner house though. You're in this little spot, like what? Oh, is this the guest home to this building? That's crazy. I mean, just like the presentation on this house. When I think of like Southern homes, Southern architecture, I think of something like this. Especially with, I don't know what kind of tree this is. Look at that. Damn. That's what I think of when I think of the South. This immaculate tree. I mean, look at, I mean, dude. And you got the spiral staircase. Sophia Jan Adams house, 1893. Gorgeous. So yeah, I guess this would be like a, a guest house. I guess it's just a uh, historic house at this point. 1893. Man, I wonder what the inside looks like. It doesn't look like anyone's living here. I would assume it's just a historic house and it seems like the town upkeeps uh, a lot of the buildings. Let's drive around a little more. Old abandoned home. Boarded up. I think this is the original main street. I like how they put some ornaments in that tree. But I would assume this was like the original old main street. This brick looks nice. I don't know how old it is. Got on that side as well. But you got some old buildings here. County Stowe. Self-service ice. Uh, that's a southern thing, apparently. Is just like random ice machines. Norman told me when I was in Evergreen, you'll see that a lot in the south. Because people just keep um, a cooler in their truck beds full of alcohol. So you gotta have these random ice machines all over the place to keep it cold. Hmm. 
We got one of the old churches right behind me over my shoulder. Cute little homes. Little shed back there. This one's real cute. That's pretty. I mean, this tree has just taken over. This, that store, this and that store. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, there's just some cute little homes abandoned right into the downtown area there's they look pretty old like that one looks pretty old and then some of them are just super nice and it's just very interesting because on this little road trip I've learned a lot about like kind of like the economy of these small towns and how certain things will affect it it's very interesting well that's White Springs. You know, I, I drove around. The little downtown is a small little area. It's got some nice, uh, very well kept up old buildings. Outside of that, you know, I saw some, uh, what looked like some plantation homes that were like super nice. You know, big, crazy plantation homes. Other than that, I've just been driving around the area and there's not a whole lot. Oh, just saw a hawk. That was kind of cool. <laughs> I had seen some pretty, pretty uh, interesting abandoned homes online, but I haven't been able to find any of them other than some small, some small like abandoned barns and stuff like that that I didn't really document. It looks like Nutrien is a big uh, company out here. I just came across another one of their facilities, I guess. Well, that's just a quick video. I thought it was interesting that that used to be Florida's number one attraction in the late 1800s. Because naturally everyone thinks of Florida as for its beaches. But, yeah, I mean, if you uh, enjoyed this, you want to see something a little bit more in-depth, obviously, I don't have a guide for a small town like uh, White Springs, but I did uh, do a video about Evergreen, Alabama with my good friend Norman Hall. So if you like history, abandoned stuff and small town vibes check that video out that one was a ton of fun to make and i learned a lot about like southern alabama and just those little towns there in general so yeah i appreciate the support as always i'm sorry for this uh you know quick little video but stick around we got a lot more adventures to come peace